Now, the first question I'm going to ask is I'm going to come to Grace, and I'm going to ask you, Grace, a very tricky one here. I'd ask you for a whistle stop to a quick overview of the changes to the building rates and the uh, proposed new legislation. Of course. So um, the building regulations, which were announced as policy in the consultation response last week, uh, are focused on future-proofing buildings, uh, new buildings, and those that are undergoing a major renovation, which is defined, defined as um, in other parts of building regulations as over 25% of a building service area being renovated. Uh, they will be future-proofed with charge point infrastructure. So largely the emphasis we have is on charge points themselves, but also on cable routes. So uh, it is a lot easier uh, to install charge points in future. So. When it comes to residential buildings, which I think will be of particular interest to the panel and uh, your audience, James, um, when uh, a new building is set up, the uh, goal and uh, the policy is to have a new charge point for every dwelling um, for uh, that new residential building. Um, and that is not just new homes and houses, uh, but it is also for flat uh, buildings as well. Um, so uh, there are some relevant exemptions as there are for a lot of policies like this to make sure everything is proportional um, but when it comes to a, a residential building which has more than 10 parking spaces uh, we're also not just going for the uh, one charge point per dwelling we're also going for cable routes in all further spaces as well um, a large aim of this policy is to uh, is to really uh, meet this new market, this growing demand early on. Uh, charging availability and charging anxiety is a, is a big reason we see people citing about anxiety around EV uptake. And the majority of people we have found do charge at home. And so by uh, putting this in place and also using the cable routing to make it easier should retrofitting want to occur, we're uh, trying to have all future buildings ready for this EV transition. It also does apply to new non-residentials as well. So new supermarkets, new workplaces, they will also have a, a minimum one charge point requirement and uh, requirements for cable routing as well. Uh, it is rather broad, so I hope that was whistle, point, whistle stop enough for you, James. <laughs> I, I thought that was rather good. I guess the one point of uh, uh, clarification I would add is uh, that it's uh, those buildings, uh, it, it's bays associated with a dwelling. So uh, um, if, if there is not going to be a parking space, clearly there's not a man, you know, mandatory charging Yes, no, point, that would, uh, yes, that is absolutely it. right. It's, it's associated yes. parking spaces. Uh, yeah, it, for it, it. exactly right. So.